the seventh at uh, Tralee, otherwise known as the Randy. So I want you guys to be comfortable on this hole, okay? Me casa su casa here. I let you know the Wi-Fi password. Feel free to log on to there. <laughs> we'll have breakfast in the morning starting at eight. And then anything in the fridge, you guys help yourselves, okay? Right. Cool. Thanks, cool. Man. Thanks, Thanks man. Thanks, man. Right. Cool yeah, of you to have sure. us. Tralee Golf Links, everybody. The cliche, I guess you hear, everyone will tell you, the front nine was designed by Mr. Palmer, the back nine was designed by God. Uh, everybody says that, but you know, the, the, it does speak to, front nine's very different. When you get out of the back, it is just totally wild and up and down, and probably some of the most dramatic holes in Ireland, for sure. <laughs> designed the, the golf course. The golf course is opened in 1984. The course has definitely evolved and not that it wasn't good in the first place, it was extraordinary, but it's gotten really, really better. It was his first uh, golf course that he designed in South America. And it was the first Lynx golf course that he ever designed. I've played a decent amount of Arnold Palmer golf courses in my life never on anything like this land. The golf course was just built on the land and it was, the green sites were shaped somewhat. Um, some of the fairways might have been shaped a little bit. So it was just there and we, we put in uh, irrigation system and around the greens and that was it. Kind of expected to return to Tralee three years after playing it for the first time and just maybe not liking it as much, maybe critiquing it a bit, just and just because it's not a classic golf course. I came away blown away. I couldn't believe how much more I appreciated this golf course the second time around, which surprised me a lot. Adjusting my setup again. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying yeah. to take a little loft off this um, bad boy. Front nine does have some really good holes and you play down to this old fort, um, the stone fort. I remember just thinking, this is so cool, you know, you're playing among ruins and this is wild. The third hole is a great par three down by the water with this little watchtower behind the green. It's almost like it serves as a line for your tee shot. It's really the highlight of the front nine because that's really the first time that you kind of play with the with the water around three side and you see the vistas in the in, you know uh, they're extraordinary well i'm playing on the kick what do we got going on here today uh, i'm playing a pink panther <laughs> with these are my carry golf shoes <laughs> playing carry <laughs> can you pull that off no <laughs> i tried Shot. Guys, I got a sneaky feeling about this one. Damn, it's so good. Nice bar. Get it. Let's check this thing out. Looks a little creepy. Big Randy's gonna love this. Look at the little window. Been some nefarious activities down here. Whoa. God, I can't imagine how old these are. Whoa, it's a stay away nothing. Oh, sick, I got the shot.
two and three have evolved quite a bit. Three grain shifted further away from the ocean and just because the waves were almost crashing on it. <laughs> oh, good shot. Oh, that's the uh, ibuprofen bunker. Yeah. Just take your medicine and get out. Did that go in? Yeah. No! <laughs> 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 See that is! Do that one! How's number five? Is that? Yeah, it's it's always has been a good haul, and you know, there's a lot of people have hauled out over the years. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, you know, I hold out one time, but it's probably for six. But if you hold out for a two, that's a little different story. <laughs> Truly a special time. An American in Ireland, a conquering hero. He approaches the stick. A truest champion in every sense. Thank you. Uh, 178 yards, middle of the fairway. Uh, six iron was just trying to kind of chip one on the front, roll it. Bay flew a couple yards further than I thought. Uh, two hops off the stick. Bang. Yeah. It's a two for one, I believe. It's the eight handicap, so. Come and watch the Atlantic when the waters are crashing over, where the cliffs are rising high, and you marvel at the sight of a rainbow's mystic hues joining Earth, sea and sky. Will you come? Mm -hmm. This is another reading from the bench. The eighth hole, awesome short little par four. It's not really drivable, but you have a ton of different options. You can hit iron off of it, you can hit three wood off of it, you can hit driver off of it. Clearly, you just can't go left. The entire hole banks from right to left, and the pin we were dealing with on the front right was extremely difficult to get close to given the contours around that green. And really the biggest change to make the, the hole better was on number eight because it had rock underneath it and, it and there used to be a lot more slope in the fairway from right to left and it was really, really narrow and really hard to hit. They flattened it out because they got enough money to blast the rock and they really made a good change to that hole. Yeah, I mean, it's really one of the best yeah. holes on the, on the front nine. One down, we gotta play. I'm pressing your ass. Let's do it. Let's go. You won't. I'm just gonna say this now. Anybody that is hating on the front nine at Tralee, you're just, you're wrong. You're flat out wrong. Thoughts on the front? Delightful. Yeah, it was great. Seaside, what else do you need? Cohen, we've made the turn to the back. We have. Things have changed. I mean, the front, Sean was saying, if that's the weak nine, you know, how good is the back? But man, I mean, 10, 450 downhill, 11, 5,000 yards uphill, 12, you hit over the pit of death. And then, so that would sort of be like an, it's the Amen corner of uh, Southwest Ireland. Amen's corner. <laughs> it's Amen's corner. He lives down there, down the road. Oh, cheers to Warren. To Warren. Cheers. The 10th long par four. First hole in the dunes gets you away from the clubhouse and introduces you to the landscape that is one of the most spectacular nine holes of golf. Oh, yeah, oh my God, that. I couldn't hit it any better. God, that was good. That's got enough. Yeah. Shot. Thanks. Eleventh hole, 500 and however many yards, straight up a hill, true three-shot hole. I feel like part of me is still playing it, climbing up, climbing up that hill. <laughs> Bar five of never, never ending. Uh, Mr. Palmer's peak. <laughs> Pretty girthy, I think you call Mr. Palmer. Don't tell anyone I said that.
favorite hole? Uh, so favorite hole is probably 12, and it, which is also probably the most ridiculous second shot in golf. Over this pit of despair, and it's going to be a long one too. So that getting to that hole, I'm, I've been thinking about the whole that hole since I landed. You really kind of get into the dunes of the of Tralee, and with the big. Yeah, what do you think? There's a 50 foot drop off from 12 <laughs> green down to the bottom of that, of that kind of yeah, depression totally. in the dune system. I've never seen a golf hole like the 12th hole. You have to hit your approach shot over a massive crevasse to this little peninsula green, magnificent golf hole. Trying to get back to homeostasis. It's a pretty good place to do it. Right side of the golf course is giving me fits. Hopefully we can bounce back. Because I need to take some money off Sally. Twenty-two. If you can't see, you cannot be sure here. Good luck. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, that's how you're trying to play it there, huh? See, you want to keep it under the winds. It's really windy when you play yeah. Lynx golf. Yeah, yeah. Keep yeah. it Just under the wind. It, hit it right into that bank it's there. Sitting down in a divot. I didn't, didn't say that, but <laughs> we'll take that. We will take that. Our man Tom. Did not hit it in the correct spot. Ah, that rips. Thirteenth hole, one of my favorite holes in all of golf. We've all played par threes that are kind of shorter par threes that have a carry over a water hazard. I've never hit a shot over like a 100 foot crevasse. It's hard to capture on camera how deep that fall is down from that tee box. And then you go to 13 and you're hitting across another one that's about 60 feet deep to a green perched up on the, you know, benched into the dune. It's just, it's fabulous. Not only is it a great, fun, thrilling shot to have that hero carry, there's also the dunes that frame that green behind it, almost kind of serving as a backstop. It's just that I was actually like somewhat nervous over that golf shot just because of how fun of an opportunity it was and I didn't want to waste it. Get back there, baby. Oh, good shot. You ever <laughs> stuffed one here or what? I have stuffed one. Really? Once, and my dad was playing in the group in front, so he was watching. And I literally, and it just rolled past, I almost made it. I shouldn't have told that story. <laughs> now that... <laughs> Pretty good. Holy cuss. Guys, if I make this one, I will not be retiring. Oh my lord. It is so good. Go ahead. Do it. Oh! Great shot! Folks, he's back. Yeah. Mm. And then 14, kind of a forgotten about hole on the back nine. It's got two separate fairways with a nice tier in between it and a really nice kicker on the right side of that green to try to get to that pin. Fifteen, drivable par four, set back in the dunes, far point of the property, cows out in the distance. Fifteen is a really good hole, a little short par yeah, four, totally. playing back in the dune, and there's a story on sixteen. 
Ed C. was Arnold's partner and he was my mentor and they had a stake for the tea and a stake for the grain and it was sleeting and it was blowing about a hundred miles an hour and they were hunkered down and Ed looked up to the guy, to the Irish guy that was with me and says, shoot, everybody's going to make a 10 on this hole. Or no, he said a nine and the guy looked over and says, well, an eight beats a nine because they play match play. They don't care. The 16th, Shipwreck, par three, another hero carry, crazy setting in the dunes. You almost appreciate that hole more from behind the green than you do from the tee box. I hate a birdie back there, but truly is kicking my ass. It's a lot of that going around. Yeah, this mask kicking my ass. This is just a clinic and quitting on a round. Let's finish strong, oh, guys. Shot. Come on. Come on! Come on! Shipwreck. Randy's ship hath been wrecked. <laughs> Tron's ship has been wrecked. <laughs> oh, late. Go in. Great shot. We've hold one with this club today. How's he holding another? That's how you play the mega fox. <laughs> So a lot of people don't know, where, where are you, to play the mega flop, where do you hit it on the face? Well, it's imperative when playing the mega flop that you hit it the very last groove. Yeah. That's that's how you get the bite and the nip and the real, you know, precision that you're looking for out of the mega flop. 17, short par four, not drivable, dog leg to the right, and you're just hitting straight up a hill to a tabletop green, another crazy unique hole. I can't recall a golf hole that looks anything like that. And then a par five finisher right back to the clubhouse, cross bunkers to deal with, and just a euphoric, wild, crazy run of golf holes. Oh, best of the day. <laughs> Be fing good. <laughs> TC! Randy loves and is perfected. Oh. Cheeky. All right, Tron for Eagle. He said he would be, quote, shocked if he didn't make a three here on the tee. This looks pretty good. Whip. Good weight there. Thank you. We kind of we kind of wrecked our rigs coming in there. We did. Great golf course. Great, great golf course. I think when people tend to praise the back nine and kind of slight the front nine, it's based in just what the landscape is. I mean, yes, the front nine sits on flatter terrain, but it's got great golf holes. The back nine, the landscape is what is completely different, but make no mistake about it if we haven't already made it clear, Tralee is a complete golf course from hole number one to hole 18. What really makes Tralee and really Irish golf in general is the Irish are just such wonderful, fun-loving people. And when you get to Tralee, that's the first thing you'll recognize. Everybody is happy and you see the place and, and Tralee, when you get back, when you finish the round and you go up in the clubhouse, you can see 14 of the holes. And that's pretty extraordinary for any golf course. And I really, and, and that's kind of at the end of the day, you're having, a, you're having a Guinness and you're looking out over what you just played and you can see almost every hole and you can point to them and say, I made this on that. And you probably say, well, I hold out right there on five. And, 
And I think that's wonderful. Mike, you're back. Oh, of course I'm back. <laughs> Good to see you. Can we talk about how from the front, from an, a group in front of you, it looks like you shot 62? <laughs> <laughs> I might have shot 62 on the back, to be honest. 47. 47? Yeah. 36, 47? That's yeah. sick. Icarita! Wow. How'd you put? Uh, yeah. 41, 45, 36. I just dusted around the back, but I, I, you know what? As good as I felt off the tee yesterday, in the nope. wilderness today, I couldn't find the club face off the tee. Not good. Oh, Heineken or Carlsberg? Sure. Uh, I'll do Carlsberg. All the same, Jackson. <laughs> Cheers. Shout out, Mike Weir. Okay. Mike's of the Weir. <laughs> we packed up for about a four and a half hour car ride to a place that really came to life in the dunescape. The Mega Dunes. Maybe the Mega Dunes. Next week on Tora Sauce. How would you um, describe it? Wild. <laughs> Got some of the highest dunes in Ireland and in Europe. Uh, a magnificent golf course. It's just God's country out there. You know, it's just full of sand dunes that were sculpted by hurricanes over many, many years. And that's the way it is. It's purely natural out there. How much earth was moved building this place? Probably zero. Uh, they, they did it with shovels. If they, and if they wanted a new mound, and said just like throw some sand and like let the grass grow. And just how they found it, which is what's so cool about it. It's undisturbed, you know, it's like a time capsule. What do you do? Just really long and slow, please. Just do you suck in or just? Yeah, suck in, but just like, like a, Can't do it. <laughs> Jules has your number. Ah. Uh.